And today is the Pokemon Con. I will be going as Captain Picard of the Starship Enterprise. Here I go. Elsa, frozen. She don't need that coat. Don't revive me anyway. Okay. The booth behind me has a guy named Wesley. On screen. Screen's not working, Captain. <laughs> oh, saw it. I never wanted to be a starship captain. Me neither. Me <laughs> I like this stupid thing off. <laughs> I never wanted to be a starship captain. Flying around the galaxy. What I wanted to be was the Emperor of the Galaxy. Oh. It would be a light and I would go, boldly go where no Trekkie has done before. That's right. Now, I am Palpatine and I'm okay. <laughs> I shoot lightning at my friends all day. I punched over and I look real white. I look really wrinkly. Sometimes I go out stalking Luke Skywalker for company. I guess I'll have to stay a Starfleet cat. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm with the 501st. We're here at Kokomo Con today and we're trooping. We're part of Star Wars Indiana, which is made up of the 501st and the Rebel Legion. And we go out and troop and have a good time with everybody else. Come out to StarWarsIndiana.com to check us out and find out what we're doing and what we're up to next. We're the bad guys to him. Yeah, He's technically Rebel I'm the Rebel Legion. 501st is bad. Oh my goodness. Steampunk is, it's the ultimate creativity. You're recreating something to me, it's, it's a his time in history that never actually happened. So you have a lot of freedom to do kind of whatever you want, you have time travelers, you have just all the fun bits and you get to play with brass and leather and jewelry and just everything. And create new characters um, and just create something that no one's ever seen before. post-apocalyptic video game and raiders are basically the people who will kill you, take your stuff and maybe even eat your flesh if they don't like the look of your face. So that's that's what who my character is. Survivor. A Betty Page version of Wonder Woman. <laughs> well, I'm based in the 40s era and I'm just in the beginning of Diana Prince became Retired uh, Imperial Astromech, last stationed on um, Tatooine. Kind of enjoyed it there. Now I'm just a uh, private propulsion specialist. 
They enjoyed this uh, area here, the uh, marketplace, on my days off. Four characters off of Attack on Titan. It's an anime. I'm Sasha. I'm short. <laughs> Fiona. Oh, that is awesome. Adventure time. Where's Cake? At home. <laughs> At home. Bring her animals. She's sick. My character is Jonathan Matthews, the, a character that is based 25 years after the events of James Cameron's Avatar. Okay, before Avatar, they were experimenting with genetic ma manipulation but with humans and the natives. So, my character was the result of the experiment. Captain Jack Sparrow. Well, Tortuga was fun, sailing's amazing, and frankly, not for all sorts of me. Uh, well, my character is kind of my own personal steampunk creation, so I don't have a super detailed backstory, but she's kind of a, an outlaw who's kind of making her own way in the world. Uh, you know, so kind of does her own thing and, you know, travels a lot and sees different things. I am Altair from Assassin's Creed. This is homemade. I bought the dress and I altered it. The shoes I obviously bought. But everything else is made with uh, real leather and real mild steel, and the blade's plastic. Future Foundation Spider-Man, and uh, he's Deadpool. I'm Deadpool. Yes. Uh, I'm based off of uh, Spider-Man, uh, also known as Peter Parker, uh, off the uh, Future Foundation team. Which is the Fantastic Four team. Uh, I'm Deadpool, original character. Uh, I've had a lot of battles with like Wolverine, uh, Carnage, Venom. My name is Emerson Codd. I'm a detective who is helping my friend Ned here. I'm Ned and I own a pie shop, the pie hole. And I can also um, wake dead people, which is why I work with him as a detective. And I'm Chuck Charles and I was once dead. I am a female Doctor Doom and I did a battle version, so I have half of my mask gone. I have pieces of armor missing uh, all over my body, um, but I also wanted to do a very feminine take on it, so I did the half mask actually really helps so I could still look very feminine on one side, but still keep the true to the character since his mask is very <laughs> well known. Well, we're the Kokomo City of Fist Roller Girls. We have been active for about five years now. We're still looking for a local venue so that we can skate here, but otherwise we travel for all our bouts, practice here twice a week, and we're always looking for new skaters. Uh, we need skating officials who would be um, on skates as referees and also non-skating officials, which means you would track penalties and do things like that with no skates, but you'd get into all our bouts for free. So uh, we practice a couple nights a week. You can contact us on our Facebook page, Kokomo City of Fist Roller Derby, and we'll get the information to you. The Coker Viper. I just uh, bought a military web vest and got some patches off eBay and uh, had a friend of mine that does casting who uh, works with storm, stormtrooper helmets and cast with a viper helmet for me. Cosplaying as Nightwing and uh, it's the new 52 version so there's not a whole lot of these floating around I hope. Alright so uh, most of the red is uh, made from a craft Eva foam as are the gauntlets and then uh, the mask I bought and obviously the, so the spandex. I'm uh, Aaron Kane aka DJ7. We own Indiana Studio 7 here in Kokomo, Indiana. This is my partner Patrick Howdy. or Spidey aka. Uh, <laughs> Basically, we do digital photography. We do a little bit of video. We do. We're trying to do small uh, commercials for small businesses. Uh, also, trying to get more of the low-income families and people who can who can't afford the big pictures, big picture packages from the big studios. We still offer the great HD quality 
picture, but at a lower price so that kids can enjoy it and people can have graduation pictures, weddings, or whatever, and still be in the budget. So, uh, other than that, do a little bit of music. Uh, I do produce some music, haven't got into it a lot lately, even do more pictures. Just here at Comic Con enjoying and networking. Civic players of Logan Sport, and we like to dress up and do all kinds of shows. We just got done doing Frankenstein, and we have two shows coming up for our 2014-2015 um, season. Um, our next show is going to be the Lottie and Bernice show. It is a hilarious comedy about two little old ladies. They complain about everything. They get snowed in to a television studio and take over the morning show. Okay. It's hilarious. Um, then we've got our upcoming musical next summer will be Chicago. Like us on Facebook. Like us on Facebook. We're Logan Sports Civic Players. You like us and you can get all the information on audition dates and show dates and stuff like that on our upcoming events. Hi, at Lynch. Kind of, sort of. It's five years in the process. His name is Valen Quinn, back in steampunk. I'd probably say maybe around 1920. And he's an engineer, described from the kind of coal and some of the dirt that's all over my face and arms. I'm just a normal gangster. Um, well, I'm Alice from Alice Wonderland. I went with the um, 1952 version, but I also added a little twist with the stockings and the gloves. Yeah. Well, I'm a uh, beast, Dr. Hank McCoy from X-Men. Um, I was the first X-Men. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm supposed to be Hitaya, England from Hitaya. I'm Misty, cosplaying Misty from Pokemon. Goodwill. <laughs> Goodwill helps. These are actually my regular clothes. My real costume isn't ready yet because I'm going to a different convention in February. You're just very casual. Uh, Toriel from The Hobbit. Um, I am Grandrel of The Hobbit, and this is my son, Legolas, from The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings. Well, we are the Merkwood Elves. Um, the costumes. Um, it was ordered and modified. Yep, ordered and modified. Um, the crown is homemade. Um, and we did the ears. And we did paint the ears. That's what I did. So, because Lord of the Rings Hobbit is like our favorite movie. So. from Evil Dead. Um, a friend gave this to me today, so I did not make this, but I made the whole entire chainsaw by myself. Um, I'm a big Bruce Campbell and Evil Dead fan, and I honestly wasn't really planning on doing this, but I figured, hey, it's October, it's almost Halloween time, so I figured, hey, I'd do a good horror costume. <laughs> we are the Vixen Villains. And we're all very feisty and cool <laughs> and fun. <laughs> Do you believe it? Hi, I'm, I'm John, and this is a traditional yeah. Korean hat. They, it's usually called a cot. Uh, a lot of the noblemen back in like the 1200s through the 1800s or so would wear these. The scholars and the government officials. It's traditional Korean, ordered straight from Korea. Bought the beads from Joann's and put them on a string and put them through the hat to create the look. I'm John Ray Rambo. This is actually a burlesque costume. Um, I used it last time in Brawl Wars in Indianapolis at the Melody Inn. It took about seven hours. I sewed these. I made this. The ears are sewn and interfaced and connected to a head headband. I made my little things here. And I do have a spear, but I don't have it right now. <laughs> it's a play on Maleficent, basically. Um, just how I guess I would imagine her as a rebellious teenager. 
this is a gender bent version of Dean Winchester from the TV show Supernatural on CW. If anyone's familiar with it, we all know spoilers. So if you haven't watched up through season nine, the end of season nine yet, stop right here. Fast forward, back up, X out, get mad, and go away. But as we all know, Dean's a demon now. I'm not. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to do Demon Dean or not, so I still put the Mark of Cain on there. I didn't uh, come in from Etsy, so it was a little harder to figure out. That's why I had to put this a little more prominently, closer to my clavicle. This is dried out. <laughs> <laughs> didn't think I'd been doing this all day. <laughs> How's the show going for you? Huh? Have you sold much artwork today? Uh, it's been off and on. Three. The main thing about the show is like trying to get your name out, and you know that's that's the big thing. Right. People start seeing the artwork. And... Well, this is this is our first this is our first booth yeah. Oh, yeah. that we've ever done selling art. So yeah. Your sketch is now going to be hanging up inside a comics cube. Oh, thank. <laughs> that means a lot. It's going to be. Thank you. And so, another Pokemon over, we are packing up our booth. We did okay, it wasn't the best, but it's our first time and that is to be expected. Join us next time at the Pokemon, where we will meet more costume originals and... Yeah, go ahead and submit and uh, look at this fat face and uh, oh yeah, I love you. And uh, remember to submit, because I really need those submitters. Ah, no, 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 no.